Are you ready for your hero to finally start their journey? Well, there's one absolutely critical step you need to include for your story to work. And that step is something we call the Outer Gateway. In this lesson, we're starting your journey of mastering the Outer Gateway, including what it is, what it does, and teaching you a powerful skill to make sure you check off one of the most important boxes in your entire story. This video is a lesson from a full free mega course on our website. If you're ready to supercharge your storytelling, click the link in the description and start your journey today. This video is also part of a series, so if you haven't watched the previous videos, there are links down below. So, we've mentioned the Outer Gateway a couple times throughout the last few lessons, and now it's finally time to break it down. The Outer Gateway is our fourth step and is a moment, meaning it usually lasts a single scene. In fact, it's one of the shortest moments in most stories, and can be as little as a few seconds. And you definitely have seen them before. Driving montages, establishing shots, a plane flying across a map. Most of the time, these are outer gateways. To understand the outer gateway, it'll be helpful to look at some other terms people use for this moment. It is sometimes referred to as a turning point, or the first plot point. But Campbell calls it the crossing of the first threshold, and Snyder calls it break into two. As these terms suggest, the outer gateway bridges the gap between Act 1 and Act 2, and it is definitely the crossing of a threshold. It is the moment the protag passes from the ordinary world of Act 1 to the new situation of Act 2, and for this reason it usually showcases a large external change. This could be geographical, like the driving montage in Legally Blonde, situational, like when Michael commits to becoming Dorothy in Tootsie, or relational, like when Lara Jean and Peter commit to a fake relationship in To All the Boys I've Loved Before. You can see in all of these examples the change is external. The most common type of outer gateway is a change in location, and there are two good reasons for this. First, a change in location helps emphasize the shift from Act 1 to Act 2, which signals to the audience that the journey has begun. And this plays into the second reason, which actually gets to the core of why the outer gateway is so important. And it all has to do with the goal. The Outer Gateway is the moment your protag fully commits to pursuing their goal. It's the moment they take their first step on their journey. It should feel momentous, and strong Outer Gateways have an element of there's no turning back. It's your hero waving goodbye to their home and setting forth into the Great Unknown. And that idea of the Great Unknown can really help you get to the core of the Outer Gateway. The new situation of Act 2 should feel, at some level, mysterious and full of surprises. Most of the time, your protag won't know what to expect. And that's exactly why a change in location is so popular. Your protag is literally moving from somewhere they are familiar with to somewhere they are unfamiliar with. So the outer gateway is the start of your protag's journey, the moment they commit to their goal, and it showcases a large external change. It signals to the audience that the journey has begun and helps separate the ordinary world of Act 1 from the new situation of Act 2. And if you have any examples of great outer gateways, put them in the comments down below. Now that we know what it is and what it does, let's cover two other elements of the outer gateway. If you study the hero's journey, you may be familiar with the term threshold guardian. This is basically a gatekeeper of the new situation and may try to prevent the hero from entering. They may challenge the hero in a battle or present a test. This is not super common in modern stories, but one example we found is the gorilla in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Protag Eddie Valiant must present a password for the gorilla, the bouncer, before entering the club. So in this way, the gorilla acts as a threshold guardian, guarding the threshold of the new situation of Act 2. And of course, this moment showcases a large external change as Valiant travels to a new location. Lastly, let's cover the most important element of the outer gateway, which is where most writers get it wrong. We mentioned that the catalyst is something that happens to the protag, and it's not a choice the protag makes. Well, the outer gateway is the opposite. It must be a choice the protag makes. The outer gateway is the protag's commitment to their goal. It is the first step of their journey, and they must take this step willingly. There are a few reasons for this, but the most important one is obvious. If your protag doesn't commit to a goal, there is no goal. And with no goal, there is no story. That's why the outer gateway is so important why it must be a decision the protag makes. That brings us to the end of this lesson on the Outer Gateway. Hopefully you now understand what the Outer Gateway is, what it does, and why it's so important for your protag to make the choice to start their journey. 
But if you want to dive deeper into the outer gateway, the extended version of this lesson covers the other reasons your pro tag should go willingly, explores a common subversion of the outer gateway, and teaches you an incredible trick to make sure this moment packs as much punch as it possibly can in your story. Plus, we'll explore a great use of the outer gateway in an in-depth example of the 2014 music drama Whiplash. See you there.